Well, this is part three in a series where we're working with a AutoCAD drawing, converted it into a DXF file, brought it into GCAD Plus, and are now trying to work with it, and we're running into a few problems. I'd like to illustrate some more difficulty. If you move into Layout Space, and we go into the Manager, Layouts Manager, can you see our paper size is A1, which measures 494 high by 841 wide. So in fact, if we look at the drawing sheet here, which is an in a, an, it's been drawn in layout space, not part of the drawing itself. Um, that line is 801 long, so it fits nicely. So that's a, an approved size of a drawing sheet. This is from an Australian example in the, it corresponds to AS 1100, the drafting standard. However, if we select the floating viewport here and come over here, you can see that the view scale is set to 0.75. Now, that's an awkward view scale to work with. Let me just swing to another example here of a similar sort of piece of design work. And we'll pick, again, we'll pick the floating viewport. Let's move across to this drawing and we'll pick the floating viewport. And you see now how much easier it is to work if you work in millimetres in your in your model space and, and millimetres in this space and not trying to mix the two. We can just ring the changes with scale. We can say this has got a view scale of 500, not 0.75, uh, and it's a fixed scale, so we can actually fix the scale. So it's very easy to change scales on drawings such as this. So I could pick this particular view of the design and it, its scale is eight, 680. I could make it 750, like that example that we're just looking at. And there we are. Just remember that under the Australian design standard, a scale of 750 is not an approved scale. Well, let's return to our original drawing that we were trying to clean up and make it work much better in the GK Plus environment. What I've done is removed all of the hatching. We'll apply the hatching later. So we've scaled it once by a factor of 10. We need to scale it by 100 again. So we'll go to Tools and Selection, select All, um, right click and select Scale, nominate 0, 0 as a base point and 100. So we scale 10, now 100. So that's 1000 and hit Enter. And you can see that because the hatching's been removed, I can scale it easily and regen, sorry, zoom extents, regen, and I'm still, it's scaled correctly then, but I'm still lost. There's, uh, I can't actually see where the design bit is, even though it's scaled correctly. Finding it, there must be another block way off to the side. So I'll just search for that and get back to you. Well, the design has now been located. What I've done is start a brand new layout uh, with an A1 sheet. And we can double click in there and then position our box around our landscape design. And I'll display it on the layout. Let's come back here. Now remember, we've scaled this drawing and hopefully our units are now millimetres, so if I come in here just to test and pick that line there which represents a, a footpath I imagine running around the house, here we are, its length is 1200. So now things are working well. Individual symbols will come in as we would expect them to. This one, remember, we brought in some time ago, but anything from the library. Let's just scroll down a little and pick that one and bring it in, should insert into the drawing happily and come in the correct size. We should be able to fairly easily apply the hatch patterns to the design. So progress is being made. Clearly we now want to add our own title, sheet information and so on. But we can 
bring the changes with our layers. I'm sure there was, there's a lot of information here that won't be required to survey point heights and pegs and so on. Experiment with turning them off so that you get back to a nice simple drawing. But don't forget that you can, in layout, if you pick the floating viewport, you can actually adjust the visibility of the viewport layers by right-clicking and selecting it and turning these on and off at will. So frames and the logo that came from the uh, architectural firm can be turned off, CAD title and so on, at will hasn't affected the drawing, our view now, because we, we don't have anything on those layers, but can you see we can clean things up and now almost work with this design. So those are spot heights, I think 196.14, I click it, it's yeah, 104 topo NS point height, and here's a green one at 104. So I think we could come in here and remove all the 104s, which are here, top of the bank, NS, and we'll OK that. Now you can see we're working with a much simpler drawing. These will be reflected in our layout here. 195.99 must be on a different layer. So let's have a look. Here it is down here. And it's on 903 Fence General, so it would be easy enough to remove that. So I hope you see that we now have a drawing that behaves properly. We can use it at will, but it really is a lot simpler to concentrate on getting the AutoCAD drawing nice and clean, get rid of all the layers you don't want, then start working on it, but get it scaled to millimetres before you add any of your design work.